In this week's lecture, we're going to be talking about some things that are somewhat similar, somewhat uh, related to things we talked about before, but important nonetheless. As you look at the PDF notes, you'll see that it's basically entitled, you know, Defining Expository Preaching. And then it has things related to that, so I want you to really pay attention as you read through those and be reminded of other things that we've touched on in the textbook and in uh, the, the prior course, BE 521. Or if you didn't take that course with me, uh, certainly you saw concepts similar to it in whatever introduction to Christian preaching that you have had in your uh, seminary endeavor so far. But what I want to do just very briefly today is talk about, again, things related to expository preaching and why we want to do it. Why is this so important? Why is it uh, necessary, so to speak, that we do it, or at least have it be the dominant aspect of our entire preaching ministry. So we want to think about the importance of, of expository preaching, and, and just very quickly, uh, just to highlight some things, just for the emphasis of uh, repetition and learning. And the first thing that we always think about when it comes to this idea of expository preaching and why it is so important that we do it, uh, is that it's just faithful to the call that God has placed on our lives as as a preacher of the Word of God. I mean, when God said to us, preach the Word, He, he meant the Word that He gave us. He meant uh, the Bible as it was given to us. And what better way to do that uh, in, a, in a sincere way than to actually just go to texts of Scripture and ex ex exegete from those texts of Scripture and put on display <laughs> what those texts of scripture imply and mean uh, for the modern audience. So why why bounce all over the Bible for, for, from a topic that you came up with? Uh, nothing wrong with that from time to time, but, but why not just go to a text of scripture and allow the meat of that word to, uh, to develop in your heart and in your mind and uh, the Holy Spirit's leading, be able to take that and share it with your congregation in order to edify them uh, the way that the original Holy Spirit inspired the original writer, or the Holy Spirit inspired the original writer uh, for the original audiences. So, so we want to understand that expository preaching is faithful to the call to preach the word that God gave us. Secondly, it enhances our biblical scholarship. Now, uh, you you can think about a topic. Let's just say, for example, if you chose the topic of faithfulness or something along those lines and then you could just kind of go through the Bible and find a few verses here and there and and kind of develop them in general you don't have to go real deep because if you go really deep in exegeting each of those passages that you selected here and there then you're going to get bogged down with a lot of ex ex exegesis and a lot of over explanation in the pulpit and sermon will really be really long and you probably have to break it up into a, a drawn out series again nothing wrong with that approach per se but but it, it, scholarship is enhanced though when we go to one passage of scripture and we understand it in its context we understand the background, the author uh, the prior context the immediate context and we are able to just sort of begin to dig down deep beneath the surface of meaning and get down to the heart of what the, what the Holy Spirit meant for those original hearers and then we cross over the bridge and start looking at modern day application of that same passage to the here and now and, and in so doing we just develop and enhance our own scholarship we'll have to dive into the commentaries we'll have to really break down the syntax we'll have to get into the etymology of words and things of that nature so when we stand in that pulpit we will uh, we will know our stuff so to speak we will be more informed and more aware and the passion that's inside us to preach the word will actually be stronger so uh, so it's faithful to the calling. It, it enhances our scholarship. <clears throat> and, and thirdly, it just simply forces honesty to the context uh, of the passage. And, and, and in other words, we can't take liberties with a passage of Scripture that we have studied until it's kind of hard to superimpose ourselves on it. It's sort of hard to put our own subjectivity into a very objective passage of Scripture. It says what it says. It means what it means. Now we can apply our personality. We can draw out some emphases and, and enhance the application for our particular li listeners. But we can't take liberties with it and make it say something that it doesn't say, which is a very common problem among a lot of pastors and preachers today where we make a text of Scripture say something that the, that the passage never said or was never intended to say. 
it, it, one of the biggest questions we should ask ourselves is, am I going to the Word of God to see what the Word of God says and what it means? Not, am I going to the Bible to to strengthen or find evidence to support my own theological constructs or my own theological findings. You have to have the attitude and the mindset that if the Bible disagrees with your theology, then the Bible isn't the problem, but your theology is. So we have to we have to be honest with what the passage of Scripture says, and this is what expository preaching and expository Bible study does for us. It it forces honesty. It, it causes us to have to deal openly, candidly, honestly, and sincerely with, with the passage of Scripture in its original context. So it's important because it's faithful to the call. It causes us to be faithful to the call. It enhances our scholarship. And third, it forces honesty. And then fifth, it edifies the body. Now, obviously, we know what that means, that the, those people that you have been given charge over to preach this particular message to, uh, if their heart is, is on fire for the Lord, if they are desirous, uh, if they're truly born again, if they're, if they're truly wanting to know what the Word of God says, then as they sit there and listen and they have their Bibles open in their lap, or they're looking at it on their phone or, or on their iPad, and these days, you know, people bring their iPad and open up the Scripture that way, Whatever it may be, they're they're engaging the text, and they're you, you can't engage the text without being instructed in some kind of way, without learning in some kind of way. And so, when you keep people in one passage of scripture, and you begin to just open up the meaning and and, and explain the details for them in interesting and, and uh, life impacting ways, they will they will they will want to to see what it says. They will want to be engaged, and, and when it's over. Uh, they will feel as though that they have truly encountered the Word of God today. So it is, it is something that edifies and strengthens them. And, and then lastly, the last reason important that, that expository pre preaching is important, there are others, but, but one of the last reasons is, is it just simply creates a hunger within you and in your uh, body of believers. Now what I mean by that is as you develop in this process and you get deeper and deeper into the Word of God and you you get inspired in your own preaching that, that the emails I get from from students all the time is that this approach to preaching has just changed my preaching. I'm, I'm better at it. I, my people are noticing. I'm loving it more. I, I'm, <clears throat> I'm wanting to use this expository approach. I love the homiletical bridge as an instrument to get me there. And, and, and their, their hunger is increasing. Your hunger will increase. No matter where you are in your experience, whether you've been preaching 30 years or, or three months, uh, as you continue to do this and your heart is in tune with the Lord and you're in tune with that call of God on your life, then you will you will have a deeper hunger. You're, you'll be energized by the Word of God. But not only will you hunger for it, but your people will as well. There's nothing more rewarding than having your people coming up to you and saying, I, I love this kind of preaching. I love the way that you open up the text and show me things I would have never seen before, which is one of the the, the interesting things about preaching is that so many times we tell people what they already know or what they can see themselves by reading the, the text themselves. But but the compliment you're looking for is not was that a good that was a good sermon. The compliment you're looking for is I, I, I've never seen that in the scripture before. I never understood the scripture quite that way. This means that they're getting hungry. They're enjoying being fed things they've never heard before. It's going beyond simple principles like, oh, you need to be faithful, you need to pray, you need to tithe, you need to have a ministry, and these, these kind of things. But it, it's, it's, it's taking them to a level of understanding the Word of God that they've never been to before, and true believers will be hungry for that. So I, I hope these, these words encourage you that this small, short uh, lecturette in, in, inspires you today as you think about why it's important that you take the expository approach. I mean, it keeps you faithful to your call. It enhances your scholarship. It forces honesty to the biblical context. It edifies the body and it creates a hunger within you, the preacher, and in those who are listening to you for the deeper things of the Word of God. So consider these things as you go through your studies, and I hope this is a blessed day for you. This is Dr. Guthrie. Bye-bye.